What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different and have some fun and be yourself guys. But today is currently Thursday and I have to work in about, I think, well I leave here in about like 30, 40 minutes, something like that. And then I work tomorrow and then tomorrow is my last day that I work for a while. I might work like one day day when I come back for like Thanksgiving and then the closest I'd work after that would be um, probably Christmas or something like that unless I have like a reading week or whatever here and there um, but even still like I've been working at Swiss Chalet for um, over a year now and it's my second last day tonight which is kind of crazy to think about it um, and I don't know, it's just weird that I won't be working that often anymore because I'll be so far from home and it just kind of won't make any sense to come back and work like a shift every week. Um, but yeah, so um, today I went and got my hair cut and it just felt good to have a, a haircut before I go off to college on Sunday. So Sunday is my official day that I go. So... So, um, today, tomorrow, and Saturday are, like, my last days here for a while until, like, Thanksgiving. Um, and so I, I've already moved in. I just have a little couple things to bring, like, more clothes in my suitcase. Um, and just essentials, like groceries, just toiletries and other stuff like that that I still have to bring. And it's just kind of crazy that I'll be living somewhere else without my family or anything like that but it's kind of cool it's going to be a lot of fun and other than that i've just been watching netflix on my computer and it's just it's been a it's been a really nice day today actually and it's it's really nice and it's really bright and sunny and decently warm and the past week i've been driving john to school in the morning and picking him up which has actually felt pretty good to wake up early but he wor he goes to school like every second day so he's like there in the morning for one period comes home is online and then the second day the people that were online the first day go to school for one period and then the people that were there for the first um, like the first day are there on the sec or at, at home the second day for like the whole school day pretty much so i drive him like every second day so i drove him monday i, I drove him wednesday and so i dr drive him tomorrow so i wake up tomorrow early and i haven't woken up the past like tuesday and thursday early but it feels good to wake up early and because i'm trying to get into a little bit of more of a schedule now because i'm gonna have to have one when i go off to college and other stuff like that but anyway um Honestly, I'm just probably going to go back to watching Netflix and then I'll be off to work. So, I'll catch you guys when I'm back from work. So, it is now the next day and today is my last day that I work for a while it's pretty much technically kind of like my last day because uh, I won't be like officially working like I won't be on the schedule there but I'll still be employed there just I won't be working that often but last night there were some music that dropped so first Pop Smoke's uh, estate and his team dropped the Mood Swings remix with Summer Ray. If you are unfamiliar with Mood Swings to begin with, 
Uh, it was off of Pop Smoke's posthumous album, and it was with Little TJ. And then, personally, when I first listened to it, I just thought it was another great Pop Smoke song. I thought nothing of it. I didn't really think that it was going to be huge. And then TikTok took this song, and personally, it ruined it for me. I heard it everywhere, and then I really didn't like the song. And then, but every time I go back to it, I still think, oh, it's a great song. It's just the fact that TikTok ruined it for me that I don't really like the song. I really have mixed feelings for it. Another song like that is Rockstar by The Baby and Roddy Rich. TikTok also ruined that song for me because I listened to um, Blame It On Baby, the album when it first came out and I listened to the album all the way through and I thought it was really good I just didn't think anything of it that Rockstar was going to be the song that was going to be the hit off of it and TikTok ruined it again it was overplayed and then I stopped liking it but I still like it it's a great song it's just it, the fact that it got overplayed is just I don't know it's everywhere and it just just got overplayed in that fact and then it just got old and I don't know. So, the, his Summer Walker dr jumped on the track, and I still think it is a good song. It's just not as good as the original, but it is it is still a good song. She she has really good vocals on it, and I think one of the first times I heard of um, of Summer Walker was on a Boogie with the Hoodie Artist 2.0 album, and I looked into it because I I was like. Actually, yesterday I looked into it on because I went on Summer Walker's Spotify and I looked and I said, "Wow!" Like I didn't realize that it was her on I forget what song is called, but it's a really good song. And I just she has a really good feature on it, but it's not as good as the original. But anyway, more music that dropped last night. The other thing that I was listening to was Little Tekka dropped Virgo World. And it is his debut album because apparently We Love You Tekka was a mixtape and it was the mixtape recently went platinum too which is kind of crazy to think about that and it was like he's one of the youngest artists to go platinum since like Michael Jackson or something and he was like one of the last or like most recent artists to go platinum without features besides J. Cole and there was one other artist I forget who the other artist was but to think about that that is really crazy but so Lil Tecca dropped a Virgo World last night and I was listening to it and he dropped uh, three singles off the album before that which were Out of Love with, uh, featuring Internet Money um, he released Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble, and then the intro to it, which was Our Time. And so on here, you had features from Polo G, Lil Durk, Nav, uh, Skrillex, and DJ Scheme with that production. And then he had Dolly with Lil Uzi Vert. If you don't know, uh, Dolly was Lil Uzi Vert's song that got leaked back in 2017. And then he handed over to Tekka, but there was a whole thing where that they they had no clue who the producer was but I guess they figured it out and it's officially released now and I think it's a really good song and then another feature on here is uh, I think I'm pronouncing this wrong but Guap Rain and then of course Internet Money so I listened to it the whole 19 songs beginning to finish and I can completely tell you um, that my favorite songs off the album are Foreign with Nav, um, True to the Game, and Out of Love. And out of those three, my top three out of those three are True to the Game, and then Out of Love, and and then Foreign. And of course, Out of Love is just such a good song. It brings such a good mood. But then True to the Game is just, it's an amazing song. Honestly, it's an internet money produced song but it's got like the drill beat to it let me see if i can play it uh without getting copyrighted and of course dolly um that's probably the fourth favorite on there but Let's see if i can uh this is what you 
I got a fruit. I, I don't want to get copyrighted. I want to see where, where it's got the drill thing to it. Here it is. It's got, you hear like that little drill slide. It's like an 808 slide. And it's like all the, like, the drill beat producers use it. And I think it was really good. It's my favorite song off the album. I've been listening to it. I've probably listened to it like five times today. Uh, excluding last night on the album. And I just really think it's a good song. Tekka killed this. And I think this is just going to boost up Tekka. And I think it will sell more than um, uh, the We Love You Tekka mixtape. But I don't know how much it will sell. Um, and I really think all these songs have the chance to blow up. I really think uh, True to the Game has a really big chance to blow up. Of course, I have a feeling Dolly will blow up just because it has Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, with the feature and it's a old Uzi song but Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade um, made the video for Dolly and I just watched it and it premiered three hours ago um, so I just watched that and it was a really really good video and this is Uzi's first time on the Lyrical Lemonade channel so this could also boost up streams and sales and stuff like that but anyway I did Lil Tekka Virgo World is approved and it's a really good album start to finish but anyway um I have to go to work soon in like an hour so I'll probably catch you guys later tonight or tomorrow so it is now a couple days later and I'm actually getting ready to move into res today for good. I'll be staying there for, I guess, up until Thanksgiving. And uh, this whole week, from what I understand, my classes are all online. But anyway, without further ado, I'll catch you guys at my residence. since I recorded this video um, if you haven't watched the previous video it explains everything that happened but pretty much I'm at college right now and I start my second week um, tomorrow um, when I'm recording this so it is Sunday right now when I'm recording this um, and tomorrow is Monday but when I'm probably editing this, I'll be done my second week because I go home on Saturday for Thanksgiving. Um, and it's all explained in my last video, so go check out that video if you haven't already. And it explains everything and why I haven't been able to upload this video for a while because all this footage is older than what I'm recording now. But pretty much, so double XL every year. Um, I don't know how many years they've been doing it, but I believe over a decade they've been doing the double XL freshman class and so last year you had artists like Roddy Rich, Lil Mosey, um, uh, YBN Corday or Corday now I think. Um, you had Blueface, you had the uh, Baby, I think I said the Baby. Roddy no I already said Roddy Rich, YK Osiris. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing some people. Um, uh, oh, Megan the Stallion, um, Rico Nasty. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more people. Oh, Tierra Whack. Maybe that's everyone now. Um, I could be wrong though. Oh no, Gunna made it, but he didn't do like a cipher or anything. I don't know if there's anyone else, but pretty much that was last year. And then this year you had Fabio Forn, you had Mulatto, you had Chica. You had Lil TJ, you had Emily Choppa, you had Lil Keed, uh, you had uh, Cowboy, you had Polo G, and you had, um, who else? Uh, Jack Harlow, um, Rod Wave. I think that's it. I could be wrong. There might be one other person. Um, but those are the people that were in the 
um, the ciphers and the freestyles and pretty much what everybody thinks the 2016 um, cipher was the best cipher in like years or like ever maybe um, and what I believe is because it has a lot of chemistry and the people in that are like in like huge artists till this day and they're some of like the most popping artists on there you had Lil Uzi Vert, you had Lil Yachty, you had Kodak Black, you had 21 Savage, you had Denzel Curry, um, you had, there were a couple of other people, but those were like the most like notoriety, notable artists on there. And that was like the SoundCloud era, that's when like all of that blew up. And the chemistry, they were all shouting out each other in that cipher. But I bring this up because there was a cypher this year that had a lot of chemistry and it was amazing and all of that stuff but the freestyles my favorite freestyles of this year to start with were polo g and only choppa jack harlow and chica so chica was one person that i've never heard of before um and they're also mulatto but i've heard a couple songs from her not too many and uh, they they blew my expectations away. They were amazing. Everybody else I heard before. And so those are my favorite freestyles this year. But now we go to the cypher. So the first cypher, we had Polo G, we had Jack Harlow, and we had Little Keed. So Little Keed had, uh, his freestyle wasn't that good. It was a song by his called Grandparents. And personally, I really enjoyed that song. But he's not like a freestyle type artist, so it was... Yeah, it, it was not that good, but honestly, he was pretty good on the the cipher and Jack Harlow also had a really good cipher and so did Polo G, but Polo G went off beat. He didn't use a beat at all, and I, don't, I really don't like when artists don't use a beat, although his cipher was really good. His part in the cipher was really good. It's just, it, I don't just like, it kind of ruins the vibe of it. And it just, I don't know, it just really didn't mesh well with it because you, I'm pretty sure he was the last one or I know, I'm pretty sure it was Jack Harlow was first, uh, Lil' Keed was second, and Polo G was last. And it was just kind of like dropped off out of there, even though he had a really good cypher. Don't get me wrong, I really love Polo G. I love his music. He makes really, really good music, but I just... I wasn't really vibing to it because the the beat stopped although it was really good it just it wasn't like my type of vibe and then the second uh cypher you had uh chica you had Emily Choppa, you had rod wave uh and you had little tj and that was a really good cypher as well and they all did their part but the the most standout people on that cypher where Chica and Anneli Chapa, they did amazing jobs on there. Not to say that little TJ and Rod Wave didn't do a really good job on there. They both did really good jobs, but they were just a standout. And what surprised me is Rod Wave actually, because he has vocals, he's really good at singing, but he used his vocals in his cypher because sometimes you see that where there will be people that sing will like use their singing voice in it and it just doesn't really sound good but he meshed um freestyling and rapping with singing and it was really good also little tj had a pretty good cypher but to stand out again was chica and and only choppa and now the last cypher was the five year foreign 24k golden mulatto and uh cowboy cypher and that was a really, really good cypher. They all did their part on it. And I think, actually, I don't know. I I think my favorite, of course, was Fabio Foreign was amazing on it. Uh, 24K Golden was really, really good on it. Mulatto was really, really good on it. And Cowboy was really, really good on it. They they just had the most chemistry out of everyone. Fabio Foreign was doing his little ad libs in there. That's why I love Fabio. He's just got the bow and the grr and all the I know I can't do that. But he's just got the energy and everything. He was flowing well and they were all shouting out each other. Twenty four K Golden shouted out Mulatto. He shouted out Fabio. He shouted out Cowboy. It was just amazing. And so that's my favorite one out of the three, just because it was it was 
a really good cipher but um i'm pretty sure there was one person that didn't do a um like a, a freestyle at all um because i know gunna didn't do one last year and let me see uh baby keen yeah baby keen didn't do a cypher or freestyle i don't know why but he just he just didn't do one and then last year um oh so i missed kamethazine last year i missed that was like the only one i missed so sorry to you kamethazine i didn't mean to miss you but um i'm pre i don't know if kamethazine even had one either freestyle um but i i know gunna didn't have a freestyle and actually i don't know if i think gunna did have a freestyle i could be wrong but i thought gunna didn't um let me see double xl um 2019 freshman cypher so you had white kill size little mosey the baby megan the stallion you had okay so kometzine was on the cypher with roddy roddy rich and tiara wax so yeah the only one that didn't have a cypher was uh gonna but anyway back to this year like i said um i think the the five yo cipher with uh 24k golden mulatto and cowboy was my favorite um and then i don't know i think the other two are a tie just it was actually it was like way better than last year in my opinion um they were like it was it was a really good year and i don't know they did a pretty good job picking the freshman class uh there could have been a couple other people in there that was like could have been in there but i'm pretty sure little tekka um he declined the uh freshman class just because he felt like he was too big for double xl and a couple artists have done that um juice world did that um i believe who else did that um in recent years post malone did that there i'm pretty sure uh drake also did that and so did uh, Nicki Minaj back when they were like just getting in the game even though they were in the game for a little bit even then but uh yeah so that's what I believe those are my double XL uh, cipher rankings <music>